a clam called Macoma. So uh, with this particular fossil, uh, oftentimes the shells are uh, somewhat thin and they're um, broken up or fragmented a little bit. Uh, there are times when we find the fossil and we might just have a, a partial shell and we're able to see some of the interior of the fossil in a, in a cast, but we can still recognize this particular clam uh, named uh, Macoma is the genus name uh, because of its shape and uh, other characteristics and so that's uh, very typical for uh, that uh, namesake fossil Macoma. We find other clams associated with the zone and so this is one that's um, thicker in its shell dimensions and it looks uh, quite a bit different from the uh, Macoma fossil but when we find it uh, we know that uh, it's associated uh, with this zone. Uh, there continue to be barnacles in this zone as well and they uh, occur in these kinds of clusters and so uh, we um, are always you know excited when we find these as well. Uh, so these are fossils that are characteristic of the Macoma zone.